Oh, oh, und Chippe. Oh. We honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skips and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. Before you please make time to recuperate. Did you have enough, Kuma? I must attend to some cloud night matters. Farewell for now. Funny music. You know that I'm a descendant of the Law Fu Vidyadara. You witnessed the Dragonachu. Secret strength, as March would call it. As you can see, we added a few things to the simulated universe. Stephen Lloyd thinks this is a big achievement. What? Chesta. No game mode? We call it simulated universe. The no game mode? Disaster. No auricula! Rasengan. Da, are trei bezicuri diferite. E genial. Oi, oi, oi. Kirin de apă. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Along the path of destruction, Dan Hung and Bibiter Lunay's specialty is consuming multiple skill points to trigger an array of powerful abilities. Tapping the skill button enhances the effects of Bibiter Lunay's basic attack, Beneficent Lotus, up to three times in succession. Depending on the number busy. of enhancements, Beneficent Lotus becomes Transcendent, Divine Spear, and Fulgurant Leap, respectively. Hits <laughs> per action and damage dealt increase with each enhancement. Additionally, single target damage is replaced with multiple target damage in both Divine Spear and Fulgurant Leap. Da, mai face ceva. Mai dă ceva, mai face încă 300 de chestii după aia. The damage he deals as the number of hits per action in the current turn increases. Sounds like skill point management is going to be pretty important for him. Da, dacă trebuie single target, dacă trebuie AOE, tot așa. When using his ultimate, Imbibitor Lunay deals imaginary damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. While also receiving a set amount of Squama Sacrosancta. Oh, Lady Fushuren. So, come here, come Fushen. Fushen, I Fushen, da, ciao, Fushen. Fush. Fush. Da, la, la. Oh, Fushuen is a quantum type character following the path of preservation. But where other path of preservation characters mainly use shields for defense, Fushuen takes a different road. Precisely. After using her skill, Fushuen activates the Matrix of Prescience, which lasts for a set number of turns. This allows Fushuen to absorb some of that damage for her allies. Oh. Ah, the Matrix of is active. It grants the knowledge effect to the entire team, increasing characters' max HP and crit rate. Fushuen offers HP a crit variety rate? of effects. Firstly, Fushuen can provide a permanent misfortune avoidance state, reducing the damage taken by the entire team. Secondly, when Fushuen's HP drops below a set percentage, she recovers a set bine, da, da. of HP. POV, your Fushuen's enemy. Chewy. Why are my attacks healing her? <laughs> <laughs> That's not all. Fushuen's ultimate deals quantum damage to all enemies, but it also increases the frequency of her talent's HP restoration. Final oh, and I almost forgot to mention, Fushuen's technique can grant a barrier for the whole team that lasts for a set duration. 
During exploration, the barrier blocks all enemy attacks, thereby preventing battles <laughs> that would otherwise have triggered in this way. Her Pitiku! So Pitika! Bad so fata! Arata fata! Sper să nu gășesc! Fata fata, ok! Oh, da, cute -ai. Her skill can restore HP to a single ally and grant them survival response for a set number of turns, boosting their max HP. There's the 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 survival response follows the paths of destruction or preservation. The likelihood of them being targeted by enemy attacks increases. Ah, increased enemy aggression? Guess they're not fans of what oh, the town. The town the heal. Uh, can't say that I blame them. <laughs> oh, my, 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 that looks like for minute. Heron? Who's my favorite? You guys want to try something? Uh, no, 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 I'm good. No. <clears throat> uh, can you forget about the contents of the tin? This is a useful ability. I'll say this. Directing enemy aggression towards characters who can take a hit is kind of genius. <laughs> Does she have any edible tricks up her sleeve? Uh, this one looks safe for consumption. Link's ultimate restores health too and dispels one debuff from each ally. I <laughs> 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 I know. Yo, talk about a hard pill to swallow, eh? Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? Uh -huh. Sarah? Sarah? No? I'm just, See, okay. I'm just wondering how she even fits it in her backpack. <sighs> Sometimes big things come in small packages. You know, I forgot to mention Lynx's talent. It can grant a continuous healing effect to targets of her skill and ultimate for a set number of turns. This effect will further restore a set amount of HP to characters with survival response. Similarly, her technique can also grant a continuous healing effect for a set number of turns. Talk about being a reliable healer. <laughs> That's a version 1.3 in the character warp. Yara Hukong. Trail what? can obtain the limited five star Yara. character Don Hung, the limited five star character Fu Xuan. Not to mention the Formator code will also be seen in the March. Of four new companion missions. The Dragon Returns Home. Oh, that's Patro. It's Primor Jamor. We'll be talking very Oh, we have a new gratis. Character gratis, a new artifact. We can choose an artifact we want. New heart to explore, very famous. The permanent mode. It includes rewards such as the Oramali themed phone wallpaper in G. Ah, Fultuna! That's what we haven't seen before. All right, folks. Bun. It's time to talk about the big simulator. update to the simulated universe. Ah. In simulated universe, the oh. swarm disaster, the stage maps will appear in a format similar to a chessboard. Trailblazers will need to navigate through randomly generated domains and tackle a variety of challenges before making it to the deepest parts of the simulation. I'm assuming these geniuses had more in mind than simply maneuvering around a grid. Right you are. In order to simulate the experiences of different path striders and resonate with the I am more permanent name Steven, develop the audience die and commuting device. Oh, audience die? Oh, come on, Albert. That's not a nice thing to say to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> die as in singular for dice. Okay, uh -huh. It has to do with the eons bestowing random gifts upon path striders. Before progressing each turn, use the commuting device to roll the audience die. This will generate special effects for the current turn. These special effects might provide our team with powerful buffs or alter the chessboard in some way or even create further variables for subsequent actions. Mm. The chessboard and grids are superficial. The true intent of the geniuses is to delve into the mysteries of the eons. Each exploration will encompass three planes corresponding to Imperator and Sectorum's emergence, expansion, and demise. Trailblazers will encounter simulated historical events during these phases, and different responses will lead to different outcomes. But do these simulations really recreate the truth? The official response is that due to the many historical unknowns, all potential outcomes are valuable. The data helps us infer the most probable truth. 
and the e vocea bubniței. Nu nu niciun sfat cu vocea bubniței. Ba game modul ăsta pare genial. You can't prove that the pass wasn't like this, can you? Wow. How exceptional. Undeniably a genius. Madam Herda has also developed a path space for the express purpose of enhancing the resonance between trailblazers and their paths. As a trailblazer, every action you take that aligns with your path during exploration can help you to obtain path energy, leading you closer to the eons. Hmm. And what can we expect when we get closer to the eons? Now, once you have sufficient path energy, you'll be able to unlock specific buffs and the chance to interact directly with the corresponding eon, <laughs> thereby uncovering their part in the swarm disaster. Hmm. Okay, so we've been hearing those words a lot, but none of this feels swarmish or disastery enough to me. Say no more. <laughs> In the final domain of the third plane of each exploration, trailblazers will encounter a brand new enemy, the swarm true sting. <laughs> true stings have the ability to divide and create more swarms. If not dealt with promptly, the entire battlefield will eventually be overrun by the swarm. Sufficiently swarming? Suitably oh, disaster-y? Yeah, 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 okay, okay, that's plenty. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, upon clearing ah, the no, uh, universe, the swarm disaster, the brand in new basic path attack of the will be unlocked within the simulated universe. Hey, what a roller coaster. That's a big update, all right. And big updates need big rewards. Take note. Aside from Stella Jade and numerous other materials, the Swarm Disaster rewards include two self-modeling resins. Whoa, whoa. Those things are rarer than rare. Are there really two up for grabs? Mm, you better believe it. And I highly encourage Trailblazers to give it a go. Next up is the Space Station Task Force <laughs> Exactly. <event. laughs> Analyzing the Space Station is no small undertaking. <laughs> if we speed things up, we'll need to enlist the help of... First off, after the version 1 oh! update, the Maxi power increased. Power cap will be raised from 180 to 240. Oh! <laughs> exactly the amount that regenerates in a date. Once Trailblaze power maxes up, Gift of Odyssey chicken. Da, pull, 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 p